ginkgo, ginkgo biloba, and the ginkgo acea, one of the most distinctive trees and one of the most famous trees really in the world. Widely planted for its religious significance, especially in Japan and eastern China. It has a very distinctive leaf that leads some to call it the maidenhair tree because it looks like the maidenhair fern leaf, although much larger. In the fall, the leaf turns a beautiful gold. The whole tree will turn completely gold at one time, and about two or three days later, all the leaves fall off at the same time. It's really an interesting thing to watch in the fall. Ginkgo has male and female trees, and it's very important if you ever plant this tree to not plant the female. The female tree has a fruit. It's actually a conifer, but a rather unusual fruit. And it doesn't seem that bad right now, but when that fruit ripens, it has one of the most god-awful smells that's ever been known to exist. Inside of that fruit is a delicious tasting nut, so if you can bear the smell, there is a really nice tasting nut inside. And it is prized by many people from Oriental cultures, not only for the taste of the nut, but also for the foliage, because the tree is believed to impart longevity and increased brain power for those who ingest it. It gets to be a rather large tree. This is a fairly small one compared to how big it will get. The bark is light to dark gray in color with very thick ridges. It's a striking tree that's resistant to pollution, insects. It really has no problems other than the fruit. So if you buy this tree, you want to make sure you buy a grafted specimen that's known to be male. Otherwise, 30, 40, 50 years later, you may have to cut it down because the fruit really is difficult for many people to stomach. Ginkgo biloba, the ginkgo, and the ginkgo ACA.